Hey YouTube, Parson Rick here. I just had a weird thing, a yellow jacket came up and landed on my foot and fell off. Stunned. Must be time for a bath. Uh, tonight, Wednesday night, I'm having a Gran Habano Car Carojo number five. Pretty long. It was weird. Uh, the the wrapper didn't go all the way to the end, so the end was kind of fuzzy. It's making that. It's a pretty good cigar. Kind of a weird thing, you know. I've been smoking cigars only basically this, I guess, a year, huh? So of course that meant a lot of trial and error. Um, so I finally settled on two that were my favorites. I, I just really liked them. And one I'd had a few of, and the other I had just had one, and it was one that was like, oh, this is so good. Nothing unpleasant about it at all. No bite, no tingle, no tang, no burning tongue, no nothing. So I went to my local cigar shop where I got the first one, and they'd always had plenty of them. He goes, I just sold the last ones. I couldn't give them away. Could have given them to me. But I was trying so many different things, I hadn't bought a lot of them. I've got maybe five. And uh, and then the other, he goes, man, I haven't carried that in years. I have no idea where you got it. So I probably got it traveling somewhere. And uh, But anyway, uh, the first one, no, nah, that the one that I only had the one of, it was an H. Upman, and I have liked all of the H. Upman cigars that I've had. I find them to be pretty mild and uh, pleasant, you know. Since I only smoke for for the relaxation, it's got to be pleasant. And, uh, and so I've got to either figure out where I got it. Or, um, <laughs> I've only bought cigars two other places. Both of them are better than two hour drives from here. So, I don't know. I'll probably have to get that one online. Uh, it's a H. Upman Banker is what it is. And, uh, so if by any chance you have H. Upman Bankers and you don't care for them, let me know. I'd be happy to work you a deal. Uh, the other was this ash is holding on pretty good. As you can tell, it was a uh, longer than a Toro. I don't know what size that'd be. A robusto or something, I guess. I don't know. It didn't have a wrapper telling me. Anyway, the other one that I really like, and it was one of the first cigars that I did like when I started going to this uh, to our local um, cigar shop, uh, Cigars on Seventh in Eugene. Plug uh, the guy that's in there, Kelly. Very, very. Everybody that works there, including the girls, are. It was that sexist. I don't know. It's unexpected to me that twenty-year-old. Tiny little girls are cigar experts. Good for them. <laughs> but I was a little shocked because uh, it's part of a bigger store. I figured, oh, they were just, you know, from the other, other areas of the store filling in. But no, they're actually very knowledgeable and cigar smokers in their own right. So I know that there's plenty of ladies out there that do. And, you know, my, my wife do. But... Uh, it was quite a surprise for me. And uh, anyway, he he was a pipe smoker. And he says, well, what kind of pipe uh, tobacco do you like? And I really prefer Englishes, a, a nice, smoky, leathery, jerky-smelling English. And so he said, well, here, try one of these. I really liked it. And I knew I liked it, so I didn't try a lot more of them. I'm trying other things. But every time I would treat myself to one, uh, you know, because they're like eight bucks for a Toro. And uh, 
I, I just really liked it. And the other night I had one, and it was just perfect. I mean, it's just perfect. And so I went back in. And he goes, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't give them away. I'm not carrying them anymore. But the interesting thing, uh, and that was uh, that was a Moet Kentucky fired, dark Kentucky fired cigar from Drew Estates. It turns out I like a lot of Drew Estates cigars. Oddly, oddly enough, I don't have very much of their pipe tobacco. Um, I've got some up there, but I've got lots of other pipe tobacco. And uh, as soon as the weather cools off, you notice it's kind of a weird color out here. We got so much smoke up in the air. Everything's got a pinkish hue to it these days. Um, I'm gonna have to give some of their uh, some of their stuff a try. I know I have a couple. Is meat pie a Drew Estate thing? I don't know. Uh, I tried it a long time ago, but. Uh, but quite a few of their cigars I like. I did a, last summer I did a, a video in Cody, Wyoming, and I'm smoking, uh, I think it's a Sweet Jane or a Crazy Mary or something like that. And it's a Drew Estate flavored cigar that's made specifically for Deadwood Tobacco Company in, in Deadwood, South Dakota. And I'd picked it up when we were back at Sturgis uh, last year. And uh, they dip them. So actually the flavor is on the outside of the wrapper and it stays with you. Um, I had one yesterday and it was a full Toro. <laughs> this is cool. This is still hanging on there. It was a full Toro and uh, and cleared down at the end, and I smoked it to the nub. Uh, the chocolate one, it was a, a Drew Estates Tabac, and uh, it still had the flavor clear at the end. And I'm not big on flavored stuff, but it was pretty good. This is just a cigar ramble about my uneducated prose and... Uh, what I like, what I don't like. But anyway, I, I've for the flavored ones, I've I've liked the uh, the Drew Estate cigars, and uh, and the non-flavored, the uh, the Kentucky Fired Moet is also a Drew Estate, and it's a very good English if you're a pipe smoker, and you've been thinking about cigars, and you like English pipe tobacco. Uh, the Kentucky Fried. <laughs> Any of you old guys remember the Kentucky Fried movie? Uh, back in the late 70s, there was a whole string of like satire movies, and one of them was like Porky's, and uh, I can't even remember that. It's so long ago. But we used to go see them all the time. There's always, you know, making fun of stuff and spoofing stuff, and. Uh, like airplane and, and like that and one of them was Kentucky Fried Movie don't remember anything about it but the name but anyway the Kentucky Fired uh, is a really good choice if you're a English pipe tobacco smoker in my humble so other than that things have been going good um, just been working still on light duty uh, recovering from the the heart thing and uh, trying to get my breathing and sleeping taken care of. I told you about that earlier. I, I tend to quit breathing on occasion. And uh, of course that never happens when I'm actually at the doctor. <laughs> so they go, yeah, you're getting old. Oh, thanks for rubbing it in, you know. But uh, you know, I did, get, uh, I did get my breakfast on the uh, senior discount the other day. <laughs> so, uh, some places I get a veteran's discount, some places I get a senior discount. And, uh, life's good, but anyway. So I just want to check in, say hi to my new subscribers and, and my old ones. Uh, seems like the fewer, the fewer videos I make, um, 
the more people like watching them. So, I don't know what that says. I'm trying to figure my way around. I don't have any editing software. Uh, there's a little bit in the iPhone. Oh, excuse me a second. These Stanley schooners, boy, they keep your cold, cold. And your hot, untouchable. <laughs> but another plug, hey, maybe I'll have to monetize. <laughs> um, whatever I was saying, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But. All gone. Anyway. So it's been good. I've been watching a lot of videos lately. Uh, appreciate what you guys are doing out there. And uh, God bless Parson Rick out. <laughs>